Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a last minute New Year's Eve look and for this we are doing a gunmetal smoky eye with some glitter. So let's get started. Alright, so to begin, as you can see, I am starting with a very bare face and I have already moisturized. And I am going to now prime my lids with Soft Ochre from MAC. Now, I like to start with my eyes before I put on my actual face makeup when I'm doing a darker dramatic eye because any fallout that is there, I can always wipe it off before I put on my concealer and foundation. All right, so now that I have that blended in, I'm going to take my Lorac Unzipped Palette and I'm going to take the two lightest colors, which are Undressed and unlocked and I'm just going to apply that all over my lid. I like to start um, at the brow bone and into the tear duct and then whatever's left over kind of put that on the entire lid and that just kind of helps neutralize the color of that lid. Then from the same palette I'm going to take a transition color which is unwind and I'm going to just start slowly building that into my crease and as you can see I'm doing the little windshield wiper motion back and forth back and forth you want to slowly just build color there um, on both lids take your time with this because I notice you know with anything makeup related you can always add more it's always harder to take off now I'm going to take this dark black color from L'Oreal Color Riche and it is in number 209 Noir Cess Noir and it's just pretty much like a dark black color and I'm going to start building again on top of that crease um, and I'm just going to start blending 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 because I want there to be a nice kind of soft black color there so as you can see I've put it on there and I'm going to slowly keep I'm gonna keep working at it until it's blended out Now I'm just going to follow back up with that transition color of Unwind and make sure everything is nicely blended in and there are no harsh lines. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to take this Revlon Photo Ready um, Eye Art in Topaz Twinkle. This is one of my favorite little finds that I found at the drugstore. So one side is just this really nice wet metallic gold color and I'm going to put that on the entire lid. And it actually is not really it's not too annoying like it's not drying on the lid it doesn't crease or bunch so it's really nice so I'm gonna put that on and then um, I like to kind of spread it out with my finger it works the best with that and a little bit does go a long way so after I'm done with that the other side of it is a glitter and normally I'm not too into glitter shadows because I feel like they can be a little I don't know kitty ish <laughs> but this is really nice because it's not overwhelming, it's really pretty, and I'm not putting it crazily everywhere. I'm kind of just simply just patting it um, as I'm putting it on. I'm almost just lining it across my lid. Um, and then I'm going to go back in with a little bit more shadow to, again, blend everything together so it's not too harsh. All right, now I'm going to take an angled brush, and I'm just going to take a little bit of that black eyeshadow from L'Oreal. And I'm going to just kind of basically outline where I'm going to want to do my wings for my liner. This seems to help me a lot when um, I'm just trying to lay out where I want to put my liner. Because sometimes I have trouble with wing liner on myself. It's just so annoying. So this helps me a lot. And I know right now it looks weird because nothing looks complete. And that's probably because I don't have lashes or eyeliner or my face on but I promise the look will come together so as you can see I'm just going back in with some of the dark shadow and making it look a little bit more intense and now I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal infallible um, never fail mechanical pencil this is like my absolute favorite eye pencil in the world it does not budge and as you can see I'm going on my upper waterline when you line it it always intensifies the look so always try and do that if you can and then I'm going into the bottom waterline lining and um, I'm also going to go a little bit below the waterline so just on the lower lash line so I can get a really really nice dark color. I 
Now here's a little trick that I like to do is whenever I'm doing eyeliner um, on my waterline, I always follow it up with a little bit of black eyeshadow and that's gonna help keep everything in place. Now I'm gonna go back in with that Lorac palette and I'm going to use the color Unafraid and I'm going to just smoke out that bottom line. Um, and whenever you smoke out the bottom liner, it always helps to if you do have like dark under eye circles or tired eyes because it kind of helps mask it. Um, obviously not like crazily, but it just helps with that a little bit. And it also, I think just looks really nice. Um, okay. Now I'm going to go in with my NYC liquid liner. This is five bucks at the drugstore. And honestly, it's one of my favorites. And I'm just going to go ahead and, um, give myself a little cat eye. Now for some mascara, I already curled my lashes. I'm gonna put on um, the Push Up Mascara from Maybelline. And I always curl and apply mascara before I put on any falsies because it just provides a nice foundation for the actual false lashes. And I like to always do more on the natural side with lashes, but this will help it look even more cohesive. So I'm going in with these, I forgot what lashes these were, but they're Wispies. I have to remember what the brand is. I think they're Red Cherry. Anyways, I'm putting those on, and I like to do that with little tweezers. And then what I like to do too is, um, after I'm done putting the lashes on, I can sometimes go over with another layer of liner, and that helps kind of seal that little lash band. All right, so I did not have too much fallout, but this is exactly what I like to do, especially to help um, kind of make sure my wing is really nice and clean. I'm going to take a little Neutrogena makeup wipe, and I'm just going to clean out all under my eye make sure everything is nice and clean before I actually start my foundation. So I'm going to start with my Maybelline Baby Skin Poreless Primer. I'm going to pat that into my skin and just make sure everything's prepped before I put on my foundation. Then I'm going to take my NYX Dark Spot Concealer and I'm going to just put that on all the places that I want to correct for that extra coverage. So under my eyes and um, on the corner of my eyes, I have a lot of redness right there too from teary eyes. And then around my nose and then also around my lips. Then I'm gonna take a damp beauty blender and just blend that all in before I apply my foundation. Now I'm going to take one of my favorite foundations from MAC Pro Longwear, and it is an NC32. I'm going to put that onto my IT Cosmetics Kabuki brush and just gently stipple that into my face all over. And one layer seems to do the trick for me because I don't like looking cakey at all. So um, I find that a thin layer of this really does the job with coverage and not looking cakey. All right, so now for my concealer, if you did see my foundation concealer routine video, I do mix these two right now together. One is the Revlon Dark Spot um, Concealer in medium, and then the Maybelline Master Conceal in medium as well. One, the Revlon one is a little drier, and then this one is a little bit more creamy, so it just gives me the perfect texture um, and formula for applying, and I just love the way it colors on me too. It's not too light, and um, it's not too too similar to my foundation. It's just like perfect. It gives me that perfect amount of highlight that I want. Now, one thing also to mention is that I really don't feel like my eye looks start coming together until I actually put concealer on. So now I finally feel like, okay, this makes sense. So you may feel that too, but I think it's until you actually have your face on that it looks put together. Okay, now I'm going in with some loose powder. This is Cody Airspun Naturally Natural. Loose powder, it is from Walmart. It's amazing. I'm just putting it on the parts that I just concealed and that I want to bake. So you may see some streaks, and that's because I'm not actually going to blend it in until I'm done contouring. So now I'm taking my LA Girl Cosmetics, and I'm just going to lightly contour my nose, cheekbones, and forehead.
once I'm done with that, I'm going to go back in with the setting powder and I'm just going to go over all the parts I just contoured to make sure there are no harsh lines and any crazy, you know, disparity between um, the light and dark. So this helps me ensure that everything is just nice and even. Then I'm going to go in with my Milani Cosmetics Soleil Baked Bronzer and I'm going to just bronze up my face a little bit and give myself a nice healthy glow. Now I'm going to take one of my favorite highlighters. This is from um, Hourglass Cosmetics Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffuse Light. I'm going to spray it with this Wet n Wild setting spray and I'm going to softly apply it to the apples of my cheeks and then the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, all those spots I just want to highlight. Now moving on to blush, I'm going to go to Berry Amore from Milani Cosmetics, one of my favorites. I feel like it just really goes nicely with anything I wear, any color, it just goes nicely with my complexion. So I'm going to lightly apply that to um, my cheekbones. And this also has a little bit of um, sheen in it, so it kind of adds to the highlighter as well. It's just perfect for New Year's Eve. It just kind of gives you that extra glitz and glow. Then I'm going to fill in my brows, and this little pencil is from Daiso. If you guys are familiar with that, it is the Japanese dollar store. Um, I know there's a bunch in California. I don't know where else in the country, but this little baby is $1.50, and it is brilliant. Like, I mean, it works as good as my Anastasia, as good as, like, Benefit. I don't know. I just seem to love it. I keep coming back to it over and over again. So try it out if you can. It's from Daiso. $1.50, you can't go wrong, even if you're just testing it out. Now for my lips, I'm going to keep it pretty neutral and new. That's kind of what I always do, but this color, especially because I'm doing a little bit darker eyes, I want to keep it neutral. This is from Rimmel, and it's Provocalypse, so it's a liquid lipstick, so it's going to stay on. You have one layer that you put on first. This is in Skinny Dipping. That's the color. So you put in the color, and then you let it dry, and then you put the sealant on it. But what I'm going to do is I put the color on first, and then I'm going to take this Ben Nye lip liner and I'm just softly going to outline the edges to kind of bring my lips a little bit of color and then after I'm done with that I'm going to go back in with the duh, the actual lipstick color and I'll apply that on top and then once that dries I will go ahead and seal it with the back side. Lastly, I'm going to take that setting spray I used from Wet n Wild for my highlighter and spray that all over my face so I'm good to go for the entire night. And there you have it, my soft, smoky eyes for New Year's Eve. It's a last-minute look I put together. I hope you like it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!